Hello my beautiful friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm very excited to show my latest vintage thrift haul with you. Uh, I've been on a hunt to find some beautiful stunning dishware pieces to add to my collection and I can't wait to show you. So I will be doing a little quick because if I go in detail then it would be a very long video which I think I cannot handle. So if you're like me and you like thrifting and hunting some antiques and looking for vintage finds to add in to your modern decor then you would definitely enjoy this video. So first of all, I would like to share my miniature collection and these are some gorgeous pieces, small pieces. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but I love them and I collected them. This is a beautiful teapot. It's hardly seven centimeters tall and I love the delicacy of it and uh, the details are so beautiful it looks so real and I don't know what I would do with it but I still love it and I want to uh, keep it in my collection again there is another teapot it's almost the same size but a beautiful pattern on it now this is a stunning teacup and saucer uh, the intricate details and delicate colors make it perfect for any tea party. <laughs> what do you say? And have you seen the small butterfly which is like a handle? It looks so cute. Now this is another teapot and I love the details. Here is a small cup with vintage pattern on it and uh, on the back there is something else and I love the details and the colors it's perfect for any tea party and some more uh, teapots here they're also vintage now this is the end of my miniature collection let's go to the Ensley collection these are some Ensley finds uh, which I thrifted from different stores over the period and I'm so glad to have this collection with me this vase is called Cottage Garden and I love the pattern and the size is reasonable so uh, you can add any uh, floral bouquet in it, it will look good. And now this pattern, I think it's called Pembroke or something. It's also a very beautiful fine bone china made in England and the uh, Ensley stamp is there which is I think since uh, 1775 something like that. Now here are two more vases uh, which are relatively smaller, uh, one is Pembroke and one, one is Cottage Garden. And not only that, here is my teapot and cup uh, pair which is a beautiful one. I was so glad to find it because I usually sit down and have a cup of tea or maybe coffee and I can use it for myself. Now here is the beautiful bowl. It is again cottage garden. It's uh, reasonable in size. I think I can display it on my coffee table for decor. This is a smaller bowl which we can use for different purposes. And here is a beautiful trinket box which I can use for keeping my jewelry in. Again, another small bowl which I can use for different decor. Now let me show you my Johnson's Brothers tea set made in England and this tea set I didn't get it in one go instead I hunted different stores in different times and I collected reasonable number of pieces. 
This pattern is called Eternal Bow and it's a quite popular a pattern um, and I found it in a very good condition. It's vintage as well. Uh, well, they have new versions in this pattern but luckily I found the vintage one. Now this is another vintage Johnson's Brothers tea set. Um, this pattern is called Fresh Fruit. Uh, I already had uh, dinner plates of this pattern, but um, this time I found these teacups and teapot and other items. And I'm so glad to have a complete dinner set. And I think it would be good for fall tablescapes. This is again another vintage set which is called Royal Cauldron Victoria and uh, it's beautiful. I love the pattern and I'm so glad that I found a lot of pieces in this and I will keep on piling up and uh, collecting more pieces uh, but I'm happy for what I already have here. The colors and intricate design I think it can add a touch of vintage glamour to any table setting. Um, it can be in fall or um, for Christmas or for any other occasion. Now check out this Johnson's Brothers red transfer wear. Uh, oh my god, I simply love the pattern and I'm so excited to have so many plates. I have these uh, two teapots but I couldn't find the teacups and I'm still in a hunt because I want to complete my set. And these are this lovely um, pattern which caught my eye and I could not resist. I, and I think it's perfect for a brunch or uh, as decorative pieces on wall. Some of the dishes are Johnson's Brothers, some are Churchill, but uh, overall they all have the same color and I really love them. I can style them in different ways and one of my uh, way is to mix and match different patterns in colors uh, for a tablescape and uh, it adds so much personality and makes your table look effortlessly chic and uh, I think you should not be afraid to layer your dishes using different plates and different bowls and saucers to create a beautiful layered look. Now these are some pieces in brown transfer ware. Uh, maybe they're enough for two serving and uh, they're also Churchill and uh, I love uh, having different patterns and different colors of uh, transfer ware. Now look at this beauty, uh, this gorgeous dish is a little darker in shade but I love the dish and these uh, plates 
it's vintage and classic and it's ironstone and it's made in England of course it's called old country castles and it's uh, hand engraved so I love uh, that I found such a beautiful piece Again, another Johnson's Brothers find. These are Indian tree pattern, and uh, I got some uh, teacups, uh, teapot, and uh, milk pot, and uh, I got some dishes as well. And I love the pattern. It looks so vintage, and it is vintage. I, I think it's a beautiful way to treat your uh, guest by serving them in this kind of vintage uh, dinnerware. I found different dishes and uh, different pieces in different times. It wasn't uh, all in one go. I had to go and hunt and collect. Uh, so this is how I collect my uh, antique and vintage items. Here are some couple of uh, thrifting tips which I practice while buying uh, vintage dishes. It always check uh, for any chips or cracks. Don't be scared of that. Vintage pieces are you know, definitely they are delicate, so make sure that they are in good condition. And don't be afraid to dig a little more, because sometimes the best finds are hidden at the backside or maybe underneath a lot of other items. So always try to explore the shelves you would definitely find something that you are looking for. And now another tip which I always keep in my mind while thrifting, that keep an open mind. You might not find exactly what you're looking for every time, but um, part of the thrifting and exploring is fun. So uh, be patient and enjoy the hunting process. Okay, this is another set which I really found in one go, they were just together. This is also a vintage set and it's called Chinese Rose. I love the pattern uh, and I think uh, I can decorate my uh, fall tablescape with these plates. Now look at this beauty, it's a big gigantic uh, bowl with a lid and uh, it's uh, not a complete set but still uh, I got a lot of pieces uh, in this set and uh, I got two small bowls uh, and uh, there are some dishes and some okay cups. here's a disclaimer I am extremely sorry I completely forgot the prices of each and every piece uh, because I've been collecting them for over a long period and uh, I I completely um, messed up with the prices so please excuse me for that but trust me all these pieces were very reasonable and I got them in a very cheap deal I never buy very expensive vintage item because I know if I cannot find it here I will find it somewhere else in a better price and here is my all-time favorite my blue and white willows and transfer wear yes I can never get tired of collecting blue and white. I found more of these stunning blue and white plates and teacups, although I already had a big collection of blue and white, but still my uh, hunger for this will never be quenched. I found these beautiful Churchill bowls and other teacups and glass and some uh, pots which I can use in different um, decor styles. I was thinking that I can use these uh, uh, blue and white cups for my Christmas. This tureen with lid is so beautiful. I was thinking to replace it uh, and keep some flowers in it uh, with the other 
dish which I already have kept it here. Thank you so much for joining me on this vintage thrift haul adventure. I hope you enjoyed seeing all my beautiful dishes and got some inspiration for your own collection. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe for more home decorating ideas and inspirations. Until next time, happy thrifting and stay fabulous. Goodbye.